Hello everyone, Rowan here, and welcome to another video. Today I'm doing yet another book haul, which seems to consistently be like the most frequent videos I post, which is probably not a good sign. And I'm pretty sure I address the fact that I need to stop buying books every single time I do a book haul, and I have yet to slow down. So, yes, I have a problem. <laughs> Okay, so I have a couple of books that I got individually in the mail because they were new releases that I had pre-ordered. I also have a box of books from Amazon that I unfortunately opened because I had to get something else out, but I have yet to even like touch them or take them out of the box. And then I also have a box of books from Book Outlet. So I have a lot to go over. Okay, so first so we can get them out of the way and I can get to the fun part of opening the boxes. I have the two books that I pre-ordered. The first one being The Heart of Betrayal by Mary E. Pearson. This is the second book to the Remnant Chronicles, I believe. The first one is The Kiss of Deception. Anyways, I pre-ordered this book because I enjoyed the first one and I wanted to see where this one was going because the first one was very intriguing and it ended on like a mega cliffhanger. The second book that I got is Every Last Breath by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is the final book in her Dark Elements trilogy. I am so bad with names. Um, I'm really mad because they changed the covers. The covers to begin with were not the most attractive things in the world, but at least they were the same, the first two books, and then this one is just extra ugly and it's got a different font and it's a different cover. At least they kept them white. That's good. So like with the spines facing out, I don't think you'll be able to tell that they're different immediately, but yeah. Okay, so those were the two books that I pre-ordered, and now I'm going to go on to my really big Amazon box, which as you can see is already open. Sorry, I... Um, ordered Cards Against Humanity for a party I was going to and I had to get it out of here. But in all honesty, I can't remember what I ordered. I did a house sitting job like last month so I had a little bit extra money so I decided to take a chunk out of my Amazon wish list, and I don't even know what I did. <laughs> okay so the first book I'm seeing in here is probably the reason I ordered all these books to begin with and it's because I got A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. I loved this book so so much. It's like one of my favorite books this year so far and I don't own it. I didn't get it for my birthday. I just haven't like bought it. It's been a little bit more expensive on Amazon which I know a few dollars really doesn't mean anything if it's a book you like like a two three dollar difference but I've just been putting it off so I finally sucked it up and ordered this and I'm so excited because this cover is so gorgeous and this book is so good. So the next two books I ordered are The Grey Wolf Throne and The Crimson Crown by Cinda williams Chima. I forgot her name. Um, I just read the first book in this series and I really liked it. I've been meaning to read the series, like, forever. So I ordered the other two, hopefully to kind of, like, get me in gear. I, I own the second one already. So I have the full series now. I read the first book and I've kind of started the second one so I ordered the two hoping that it would kind of get me to read these books because I've heard a lot of great things about them so here are the other two. And another book I got is Magic Breaks by Alona Andrews. This is, god what is this, like the seventh book in this series, the Kate Daniels series, which I love to death. Like biggest guilty pleasure reads ever but not even really guilty pleasure because they're really fantastic so I don't even know what I'd call that, but I love these books. I also got another book by Alona Andrews, and I'm a little bit embarrassed the cover of this one because it looks really like cheese ball, like typical paranormal romance. But I also got Burn For Me by Alona Andrews. But Alona Andrews has always just kind of stood out to me as having a lot of talent, and I wish more people would read her stuff. So I ordered this one because I've already read it and I really liked it. It's really good and I had to have it. The next book in here is one that I have been waiting to get my hands on forever and that is Golden Sun by Pierce Brown. This is the second book, um, I don't know if it's called the Red Rising trilogy? I'm not even sure if it's a trilogy, but Red Rising is the first one. I read it, I think, like towards the end of last year, like the very end of last year and it was absolutely amazing. So, so, so good. And I really want to reread Red Rising and then read this one. 
and when the third one comes out hopefully I'm gonna be smart and pre-order it so I don't wait as long as I did with this one. The last book from Amazon is Shudder by Courtney Alameda I believe. I read this book in June I think and I was so surprised with how much I loved it. It was so refreshing and kind of creepy and spooky and like badass and I really 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 liked this book obviously since I just bought it. Okay so now I have my book outlet box which is really freaking heavy and I can't remember like how many books I ordered in this so I'm gonna open it right now with my dagger and see I think I ordered because I believe book outlet was having a sale of some sort um like five dollars off your purchase of something or ten dollars off your purchase of something or I don't even remember but it was something I could not resist and I cannot oh there we go and um I think I ordered like a lot of books like six books or something maybe eight I don't remember this is I don't remember at all this has been sitting in my room forever Ugh. Tons of paper as usual. Oh, okay. Well, let's see what I've got. The first book I'm seeing is Anomaly by Tanya Cooper. Um, I'm not sure what this book is about actually. <laughs> okay, here's the thing with Book Outlet. Most of the time, the books you order aren't like books you've wanted forever, unless you get really lucky. Usually, you kind of look through and see what they have and go, Ooh, that sounds interesting. It's $2 add to cart buy here it is and I don't know what it is um, something about a girl with powers I don't know but I think I've actually like heard good things about this book which I'm not sure why I think that but it's going on my TBR shelf and then I got pivot point by where's your name oh Casey West um, I've actually wanted to read this book for a while because I believe it has like parallel universes or two different like timelines or something like that and I really really like stuff like that. So I've been eyeballing this one for a bit on Book Outlet and they just got more like back in stock when I ordered so I was very excited. I also got Tiger's Quest by Colleen Hoke. I'm not sure. Um, I have the first one back there that I got from Book Outlet. I read it a while ago and I thought it was pretty like fun. The romance was not quite my cup of tea but I really liked like the Tomb Raider, Laura Croft, like old temples and going through like ancient relic stuff. That was pretty cool. I tried picking up the second one I think like right when I got A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mott and obviously I put this book down to read the other one and just never picked it up again so I bought this I think for like three dollars in case I ever wanted to start the series over again. I also got Frostfire by Amanda Hawking. I don't know anything about this book. In full honesty, I ordered it because A, it is fantasy, I think, and B, I really liked the cover. I just, I thought it was really pretty. And I think this one was like $2 too. I don't think I've ever heard anything about this book, but um, it sounds cool, I guess. Traitor's Kingdom powerful love I the cover was nice <laughs> another book I got is Angel Fire by Courtney Allison Moulton I've been eyeballing this book for a while and mainly because I've heard that it has really cool like action I think this girl's like a demon hunter or something something like that and I really like stuff with like demons and whatnot that sounds kind of evil and satanic but I just I like stuff like that like ever since I read City of Bones Demon Hunters is like the coolest thing ever so I snagged this one. So the next book I have is a beautiful hardcover copy of Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld. I have not read this book yet. I've heard so much amazing stuff about it. I believe I don't know much but I think it's about an author that's like writing a book and then like what he's writing like going on in the book or something like that. I'm honestly not 100% sure. But I really really like Scott Westfeld's writing. I really enjoy him as an author and this book is just gorgeous. I mean look at that. 
It's so cool, and this hardcover is absolutely amazing. I'm so excited that I got this. I really, really didn't think it was something I would find on Book Outlet, so I was really happy to see that. Another book that I picked up is Winterspell by Claire Legrand, I believe. This is going to sound really horrible, but I actually just picked up this book because I've heard it's not so great, but like to the point where it's really funny that it's not so great and that sounds horrible, but I just, I wanted to read it because I'm intrigued by why so many people really dislike it, but think it's hilarious at the same time. Like that's intriguing to me, so maybe I'll like it. I don't know. It sounds cool. It's uh, like a... Um, a retelling of the Nutcracker, which sounds cool. I mean, I like the cover. It sounds interesting. So I'm a little intrigued by what's going on with this. If you've read it, please tell me if you liked it or not. Like, I don't know if it's maybe just like my friend group really didn't like it or one person didn't like it and everybody jumped aboard the hate train or what. But if anybody's read it, let me know. And the last book that I picked up is a hardcover copy of The Glass Casket by McCormick Templeman. I don't really know anything about this book. I know I've gotten it a few times from the library because it sounds like a um, Snow White retelling, but I'm honestly not sure. To be totally truthful, the main thing that drew me in about this book is the main character is a girl named Rowan. Rowan Rose, actually, which is really pretty, and every time I read a book, if there is somebody named Rowan, it's a man. Like, frantically trying to think if I read a book with a girl named Rowan and nothing is coming to mind, but several books with boys named Rowan are coming to mind. So I was really excited to possibly have a fairy tale retelling with the heroine named Rowan. So I bought this. Okay, you guys, so those are all of the new books that I got in this haul. I know I've been saying a lot for the last few months that I'm going to do a bookshelf tour, which I'm really excited to do. But I keep buying books and having to move things around and I'm going to have to move stuff around a lot after this one because I don't really have room anymore. So probably, probably when I'm done finally doing like this last major shift, I will do a bookshelf tour. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.